So you're an editor. You're probably staring into the abyss of a four hour interview. This is where subclips come in as the hero. Handcrafted nuggets of awesome extracted from the mountain of less awesome. Now, how do we go about making these? You have a few options. Let's go through them quick. Let's add a piece of media to the source preview window. Set your in and out points. Then right click on the jog bar. Select make subclip. Having the in and out points already set, we can drag from the source viewer into the media pool. Having the in and out points selected, we can go up to mark and then down to create subclip. And then finally, the fastest and easiest way to do it, alter option B. Now, after doing any of those options, you're gonna get a dialog box to name your subclip. If you don't already have a good naming scheme, I just recommend naming it something that's very descriptive, you know, like, Good take. You sure about that? There's an option to use full clip extent. Not entirely sure why we would use this. I feel like it defeats the purpose of subclip. There you go, subclips. Now they live in your media pool, ready to be dragged into your timeline like any other clip. Now you might be saying, but wait, I already use markers. Yeah, markers are great. If you enjoy visual clutter that makes your timeline look like a toddler attacked it with a rainbow crown and keywords, don't even get me started. All jokes aside, subclips are yet another media management tool. They provide even more organization and make it stupid simple to retrieve gold nuggets out of large takes during the edit. If you ever need to tweak a subclip, just right click on it, edit subclip. Adjust the in and out points or click use full extent. Oh, but there's more. There is also the text-based editing feature. If you have the studio version, you can have subclips create it via the transcription. Let's pop that open quick. So in here, we're going to select the section and clicking this button, we'll have Resolve create a subclip based off of the selection that we made. There's a lot of use cases here. And this is yet another reason why to use subclips. I guess one other thing I can throw in here is subclips can be created when working with markers. When you're in your list view, you can view the markers in here. We can drag those markers down back into the media pool and create a subclip that way. Markers can have metadata that can be attached to subclips, giving you even more organization. So next time you're drowning in footage, remember subclips. Future self and therapist will thank you. And with that, I think I covered everything subclips. And remember, if you wanna see more short videos like this one, hit that like button.